Hello, Gemini. Welcome to your lover's reading for March 2018. Welcome to the channel also. I'm sorry, I just had one of those incidences where something goes down the wrong pipe. <laughs> and like, goodness, my voice just, ugh. So excuse me for that. All right. So we're going to look at your relationship for March, okay, 2018, and we're going to do a quick preview. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this reading. If you need a private reading, the link to my website is below. And um, I'm just going to get started. I'm going to call to the spirits and spirit guides for the Geminis, okay? What kind of energies are in Gemini relationships for the month of March, 2018, Okay, show me Gemini, show me the dynamics of the relationship in March, and then Gemini's lover or partner. Okay. Alrighty, that's going to do it. So I have your answer. Okay. So Gemini, we got a problem coming up in March. I feel like the hermit coming up, is, it's representing that it's, it, I feel like there's a lot of separation in the month of March overall, okay? I feel like the reason why that separation is there possibly has to do with your spiritual path. I feel like there's definitely some things that, some inner work that both partners are doing. Both of you have a pentacle card. So I feel like both of you are dealing with things within your career. I feel like Gemini, for Gemini to come up as the four of pentacles, I feel like it represents as far as having to do with the relationship, sort of uh, being in a place of where Gemini is going to really be thinking about themselves, okay? I really, really, really do. And I feel like Gemini is really going to, uh, possibly with their lover, I feel like your lover is definitely feeling that energy, the Seven of Pentacles. It's not necessarily a negative card, but in this deck, the the illustration is really, ugh, it's really bad. Uh, and the Seven of Pentacles is really not that bad of a card to get. But it does kind of suggest somebody is possibly waiting on somebody to take action. I feel like in your relationship, I feel like there's something going on to where somebody's not feeling all the way fulfilled. I feel like fulfillment is coming, but I feel like they're not all the way fulfilled in the relationship. Also, I feel like there's some separation. I feel like a lot of you Geminis are separated from your lovers, okay? Okay. So the Hermit could represent that a lot of you Geminis might be dealing with a Virgo. I'm definitely feeling like you're dealing with Earth sign. All these Earth cards that come up. Okay, in particular, a Virgo. I'm going to ask Spirit to give me some clarity on this Four of Pentacles for the Gemini. Okay, yep. Queen of Wands was right behind her, the Death card. So I feel like during the month of March... There's this fire sign person. Um, I feel like the death card represents some kind of change that the Gemini is going through in the month of March, as well as possibly cutting ties with somebody that is a fire sign. I see Gemini, for a lot of you Geminis, I see you walking away from a fire sign. I do see this as being somebody that's holding on, holding on to a negative relationship in the past. And I feel like with the Hermit card coming up, I feel like this is where, this is typically what lovers do when things are, you know, difficult in the relationship and they have to kind of back away from each other. So I feel like both of you during the month of March are spending less time apart. It doesn't mean that you're together. It just means that you are apart. You're somewhat distant. So I do feel as though there is some distance and uh, or some distance. And I feel like it does have something to do with this fire sign person. This is somebody from the past. I feel like it's somebody that uh, Gemini has cut ties with and they don't want to let go. 
okay? And I feel like they're holding on to the situation. And now if it's not a person, then Gemini, you're carrying stuff from a fire sign person. You're carrying some unhealthy uh, energy around from the past that you need to, you know, let go of. And that's why the hermit shows up. Now I'm going to do some clarity on a Gemini lover with the seven of pentacles. Okay. The world card. I don't know why all these cards are coming upside down or reverse. Uh, the world card is representing uh, harmony, peace, and balance. Um, also some kind of closure. So I sort of feel as though this could be a lover that's holding on to your lover, Gemini, but they're coming at you about it. They're sending bad energy to you. Okay. Or just, you know, talking to you about something. Now the three of cups does come up in the world card. Um, Gemini, I feel like you're, I'm going to be honest with you. I feel like Gemini, your lover is going to be doing okay during the month of March. March is springtime. Uh, I'm sorry, you know, and I feel like this is where your lover is going to have some things that are going to come into fruition. I feel like just in general, Gemini, your lover has some good things that are going to be happening. Uh, the world card could represent travel. The world card could represent completion, feeling very complete within themselves. And the three of cups kind of represents where I do see these difficulties happening between the two of you. But I feel like all in all, I feel I don't see the relationship ending, okay, is what I'll tell you. I don't see any endings, <clears throat> but I just see you as being, <clears throat> excuse me, being a little kind of split apart from each other, if that makes any sense, okay? Maybe spending some time apart, maybe taking some time to yourselves, possibly, and because I know for me, I know that uh, absence does make the heart grow fonder. And um, now just to let you guys know, there's some of you Geminis, for you singles in particular, there's some of you that are going to possibly have reunions or a new love come in in March. Okay, just to let you know, I feel like there's going to be either new love or a reunion coming in for March for some of you Geminis, okay? In particular, those of you that have either earth or water in your chart, I feel like a lot of you singles are going to, uh, you know, meet new people. I feel like the world card represents some kind of cycle ending in your life, especially with the death card as well coming up in your reading. Okay. All right. That's going to do it, Gemini. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope that you enjoyed the Tibetan healing bowls. And um, I hope that you guys contact me for a private reading and other spiritual services. I look forward to hearing from you. Blessed be.